It's really bad, especially at night. It's like my heart is on fire. Like it's, um, oh, I don't know, like a... Burning? <sighs> exactly. Hmm. Sounds almost like heartburn. So, can you give me something? Like a thesaurus? What? I take it you never mentioned this during any of your prenatal visits. Prenatal? I'm not pregnant. Sorry, you don't get to make that call unless you have a stethoscope. Union rules. I know when I'm pregnant, all right? I have six kids. That's why my husband had a vasectomy and we use condoms. Vasectomies can reverse themselves, condoms break. OK. This is what a woman is supposed to look like. OK, we're not just skin and bones. We have flesh. We have curves. You have little people inside you. OK, OK. I'm sorry. I guess I must have just been brainwashed by the media and all those years of medical training. Damn right. I'll see if I can find some antacids while the nurse gets some blood. Blood? Why? The heartburn. Got to make sure it's not spreading. I've been thinking. You've made it quite clear that you're miserable here. I am not miserable. You're not happy. And you are? With my job, yes. I am exactly where I want to be, doing exactly what I want to do. I sense a hint of sarcasm there. Why don't you pick yourself? Quit. Hmm. I was wrong. About Vogler or Foreman? Mrs. Hernandez's pregnancy test. Who's Mrs. Hernandez? Either a woman carrying an alien baby or your newest patient. The ultrasound and biopsy confirmed our worry. The tumor is extremely large. At least 30 pounds. Oh, God. It's actually a personal record for this clinic. But it's completely benign. There's no sign of cancer at all. <sighs> I've already spoken with Dr. Bergen, and he's available first thing in the morning. For what? For the surgery. But if it's not cancer, it can't kill me, right? No. I'll have a huge scar. I won't be able to wear a bikini. You wear a bikini now? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Nope. But I've never gone swimming with you. I knew it. That's what this is all about. You were trying to force me to have cosmetic surgery. Yeah, that's exactly why I planted a 30-pound tumor on your ovary. It's not going to kill me. The only thing surgery is going to do is change the way I look. That is the definition of cosmetic surgery. Uh, it would also relieve your heartburn and discomfort. Yeah, right. Why give an antacid if you can cut someone up and make them a little easier on your eyes? My husband loves my body. He can't get enough of it. You think he's going to want to touch me if I look like I've been gutted like a fish? That was unexpected. Yeah, it was. Excuse me, Dr. House. My wife saw you yesterday, Lucille Hernandez. Uh, he's not in today. My wife said he walked with a cane. He's also got a bit of a drug problem. Sometimes doesn't show up for weeks. What's going on with my wife? Even if I was Dr. House, physician-patient confidentiality protects me from annoying conversations. She told me about the tumor. Yeah? She also tell you why she's refusing to have it removed? I don't care about a scar. And she can always gain the weight back. You want her to regain the weight? Yeah. I mean, only if she wants to. Why? I always thought she looked sexiest when she was pregnant. Something about knowing she's a mother just yeah, makes me want. Tell her that and leave me alone. I did. You better talk to her. I couldn't bear it if something happened the to her. The tumor is benign. Nothing's going to happen. Except maybe some more heartburn. What if it gets even bigger? Or it changes? You know where to find us. Building's not going anywhere. Tell her it's cancer. You obviously don't have a problem with lying. Oh, way to win me over. You got six kids. She can't afford to take a chance. You have kids. How novel. That changes everything. So if mommy gets heartburn, one of them might catch on fire. Please. I don't know what we do.
They are cute. Have her come back in. What? Your plight has moved me. Tell your wife to come back. You called me in to tell me. I should have realized the vasectomy and condoms was overkill, but this was too obvious to miss. Cute kids. Love her green eyes and his baby blues. Of course, since both you and your husband have brown eyes. Would you get that? From the father of three, maximum four of your six children. So I'm thinking maybe the reason you don't want surgery is that while your husband will find you attractive no matter what, all the other men you're sleeping with might not be so open-minded. Which brings me back to my original thesis. Men are pigs. You got nothing to worry about. They'll pretty much have sex with anyone. Fat, skinny, married, single, complete strangers, relatives. You are sick. So are you. And I'm sure there are websites full of men looking for married women with surgical scars. So have the surgery, please. Okay. <laughs>